Okay, now we're going to move on to the, drawing the cylinder. And this video is just going to show you how to use the selection tools to make the basic shape of the cylinder. It's kind of weird, I, I admit, but uh, just hang in there and watch what I do. Okay, first I'm going to turn the eyeball off on the sphere. I'll make a new layer. And um, this first part I'm going to do is make a template for the cylinder that's the correct shape. So use the elliptical marquee tool and draw a nice ellipse similar to what you see on the screen there. And um, we need to save, this is going to be the top of the cylinder. So first we got to save this. It's very important. Um, go select, save selection, and call it cylinder top. This is a big deal because you're going to have to come back and do this again. I mean, you're going to use this in this process. All right, so the cylinder top is selected. The uh, I'm going to draw I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool to draw the the front face of the cylinder. And the best way to do that is to use some guides. So hover over the vertical ruler, click, hold, and drag, and bring a guide in so it's just touching the... It'll snap right to it, usually, if it, your preferences are set. Uh, okay, set standard. So I got a guideline on, on the left edge of the ellipse. I'm going to put a guideline on the right edge of the ellipse. But wait, there's more. I'm going to put a guideline that goes... It's going to snap right to it, right through the middle of the ellipse like that. What the hell for? Well, excuse my French. Sorry about that. Um, now I'm going to come over here, choose the rectangular marquee tool, hold down the shift key. Okay, I got marching ants on the cylinder. When I hold down the shift key, I get a plus sign next to my little um, cursor. Put the crosshairs right on the uh, intersection of your guidelines, click, hold, and drag. I'm still holding down the shift key and I'll snap over to the other guide, vertical guide I made. And I'm going to hold this here just so you guys can see what's going on. Let go. And since I held down the shift key, it added to the selection. So I have this nice shape. However, I got to if this was a real cylinder, there'd be a curve down here too. So how the heck are we going to do that? Well, there's like a Again, this is kind of weird the way I do it, but it works. Make sure you're on a on a separate layer. We're going to fill this with black. Paint bucket tool, fill it with black. Okay, what does that get us? I'll show you in a sec. The uh, at the bottom of your cylinder, it's helpful to go to the uh, horizontal roller at the top, click, hold, and drag, and make another guideline so this cylinder shape is boxed in. Now, remember we saved our selection, we go to select load selection and we're going to load cylinder top. Okay, so then we get the marching ants around the top of our cylinder. Select, transform selection, hover over the selection and just click hold and drag and since you have these guidelines made, it'll just um, snap correctly to the to the guidelines. So you see what's happening here? I got this shape and then the marching ants are down here. Hit the return key. To, you got the bounding box on the marching ants. Hit the return key. Now fill this little bottom chunk with black. Command D to deselect. And you got a perfect uh, shape of a cylinder. Let me go to view. I'm going to clear guides. I suggest you do the same. Um, so view, clear guides. And there they go. Okay, so that's our nice cylinder shape. But wait, there's more. Come over to the left. Uh, 
four tools down is the magic wand tool. It might be hiding under the quick selection tool, but you want to choose the magic wand tool and click anywhere on the black area. We're not going to save this black chunk. Um, now we got marching ants around this. Select, save selection, and call this cylinder body. And since we saved, we saved the cylinder top, we saved the cylinder uh, body, we can hit the, we're not going to use black, we're going to we're going to do something different. So you can hit the delete key. And um, yes, I know a little bit involved, a little bit strange, but now you have your selections to draw your cylinder saved. Do a command S or control S on a PC, and I'll see you in the next video.